Hi everybody, I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today I have something in front of me that I have just been waiting to share with you and this has just been like major anticipation on my side. Ever since I went to Paducah, I have been waiting to share this with you and today I finally get to. Many of you out there know that I have an absolute positive favorite seam ripper. I own three of them right now. They are my absolute favorites. I use them all the time. Well, when I was in Paducah, I got to see some and I majorly fell in love with these. And when I fell in love with them, I asked if it was possible if they would please wholesale to me so that I could sell to you. And they said yes. So this is my very first shipment. There, I have a total of 20 of different colors and some of the colors I will be able to get back in stock again, other colors I will not. Right now, I'm not exactly certain which colors I'll be able to get back in, but I wanna go through the ones that I have. So I'm gonna describe them here and I'm gonna also insert pictures someplace. I don't know if they'll be up there or up there, but I'll insert pictures. They are all on my website. I'm going to probably start right up here describing these so that you can see them. I'm going to start with this one. I believe it's labeled as yellow, clear, black, and a little bit of white potentially. And what this looks like, I wish you could see these up close because I have never seen them like this before. There are these wonderful little, that looks like almost slivers of paper that go through them or slivers of something and there's little holes in them. One side of the of it appears to be yellow, maybe a little bit of white. The other side of it appears to be black and it is just absolutely gorgeous. This is the first time that I've seen ones that have these like little pieces of something woven into them and I really fell in love with them. So there's one. This next one is really cool. This one kind of reminds me of the 70s, you know, everything 60s and 70s. It is almost a um, magenta or a, a dark um, pink almost. It's got a little bit of gold and a little bit of blue. And one of the neatest parts is like right down through here, it's got some mother of pearl, which is just stunning. And again, one side of these is a little seam ripper and the other side is your stiletto. And you guys all know I use my stiletto all the time and I use my seam ripper quite a bit too. So there's that one. The next one is small pieces of orange and clear. It almost looks like it's orange shavings into the handle. Just really, really pretty. The next one, I think this is my, yep, yeah, this is my pink mother of pearl in white. Excuse Tucker, he's making some noise over there. And again, really pretty. A nice, really swirly effect on it. So, and we all know I love pink. Then we've got another one that is clear yellow and this one has a real ribbon through it and the ribbon appears to be folded over in spots and again just I just love these like this I I wish I'd seen them before because I would have ordered a couple of them because I just never did see them they're just so pretty and hopefully when you see the picture because I'll insert a picture you'll see really how pretty they are. So that's my first set of five. My next set of five that I'm gonna do is this set. I'm gonna start with this one because I'm gonna do these two together. This is a blue speckled one that's got a really pretty blue. And you can see that there's a little clear in there and the little bit of clear shows through to more little pieces of blue speckle. So again, really, really pretty colors. I'll set this one way over here. 
The next one, I this one reminds me of candy canes. It truly does. It's red, it's got a little bit of mother of pearl in it, and it's got white. And again, it's got that gorgeous swirly design all the way through it. And hopefully you can see it, because it, it really is pretty. I'm going to do this purple one next. This one's labeled on the website as dark purple in white. And the dark purple is almost clear, but it's not. It's a very, very deep, rich purple with a gorgeous little white swirl going all the way through it. So again, very, very pretty. These next two are really unique in the fact that they are both this aqua green color. This one, which I'll start with, has that ribbon through it again, but this one's ribbon is only white in the aqua. And when you twirl it, it almost looks like it's moving. It is just so pretty. Oh, I just, these kinds of things make me not mind having to have to rip out seams. The next one is back to that, remember we, the yellow one that had the little bit of black and white in, this, in the holes? Well, that's exactly what this aqua one is. Again, it's got that ribbon running through it with circles that are appear to be cut out. And it has black on one side, white on the other. And it just randomly shows up. So here on this side, you can see the white, I hope. On this side, you can see the black. And it just is so pretty. So neat. So that's my second batch of five. Now we're going to move on to these. This is the other one that kind of reminds me of Christmas. This was my candy cane one almost. It's it's this pink and, and dark, dark pink or almost red. Well, this one is definitely red. This one is red and pink and again has that really cool ribbon in the middle of it. This ribbon almost looks like ribbon candy. You know how ribbon candy swirls and looks like an eight on its side? Well, that's what this one is. And it's, it's very pretty. The clear on it is clear red, so you can see right through it, which is neat. It is really cool. This next one is another one that reminds me of the 60s and 70s. It's green and blue, and it has just these, I hope you can see it, these little pieces of mother of pearl right in here. And it just is so neat. I do really like this one. One of my sister's favorite colors are lime green. So I can't wait for her to see this one. This is another clear one. And this one is more clear than this one that I showed you and definitely more clear than this red. It is a clear blue and the ribbon through it is like a baby, baby blue and white. Very pretty. The randomness of the swirls is really cool. And what I liked best about this one is right in the center of one of them, there's just one clear dot. And that's kind of neat. It's one way of knowing for certain that this is yours because of that little dot. The next one is another clear and purple one, but this one has more of a rounded in the center handle, whereas this purple one was more of a, well, maybe I can put them together so that you can see them. Let me see what I can do. Hopefully you can see them against my hands. This one has a ridge on it. This one does not. So this again is another purple with that beautiful white ribbon going through it. This one is clear and this one is beyond cool because of the fact that in spots like down in here, there's a whole bunch of ribbon. So you can see all of these swirlies around, but over here towards the top, there's not as much or what I'm using as the top. 
You could obviously flip this over any way you wanted it. I honestly would do it like this. So when I was ripping, I got to look at the really pretty colors or using the stiletto. I would actually use it like this so that I can take a look at all this pretty white that's roaming through it. I think that's really neat. And I like the fact that you can see down through it, which is really cool. So that one's the white. That's our third set of five. Now this is our final set. I'm gonna start at this end. And this is one of those beautiful orange ones. This one, again, we can see all the way through it, which obviously I have fallen in love with the fact that you can. This one is more ribbons, whereas this one is more speckles. Again, you can see through both of them, but this one is looks more like the shavings as I had described. This one is definitely more of the ribbons and it has this light, light orange and then goes to this dark orange, which again, I think is cool. This is more of a um, rounded barrel and does not have the divots or the finger grips in the ends of them. So there's that one. Next, we come to one of my favorite colors in this world. This one is clear pink and white. And again, it has the ribbons going right through it. This next one is another clear one. This clear one is the same as the orange one that I showed you a minute ago. This one has all these gorgeous speckles, almost like shavings in there, which I think is really cool. Now, here is the seam ripper of all seam rippers. This one is like an amber brown. It's the first time I've ever seen a brown one. It almost looks like caramel from caramel candy at times, especially like right up through here. It reminds me of Werther's. So isn't that neat? Just, again, it's got geez, just... Again, it's just got those little touches of white on the edges, which I think adds so much dimension to these. So, there's that one. And then this one, which is my last one that I'm gonna show you today. This one is, I call pink, or uh, pink down here. And then I almost think this is like orange or an orangey pink. Not quite certain of the color, but I think it's gorgeous. And it, again, has a whole bunch of mother of pearl in it. This is the grip that has, this one has the grip that is angled in a little bit. I tend to, when I'm at the long arm, use one like this because I can hold my fingers right in there. And then what happens is my thumb floats on the quilt itself like this so that I don't risk knock on wood, ripping somebody's quilt when I'm working on it. So there's that one. So those are the 20 seam rippers that I have on my website right now. Like I said, I am going to be able to restock some of them, but I don't know that I'll be able to restock all of them. Please do remember that every single seam ripper is its own. These are individually turned and therefore, consequently, what happens is the patterns on them are individual. There are no two exactly alike. So what I'm going to try to do is keep these colors all in stock. But again, like I said, the patterns will vary just a little bit. Thank you so much for joining me today on Margaret Lewin Quilting. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my Facebook group. Come on out there and join us. We're sharing our half square triangles from our current half square triangle swap and just having fun every day. Thank you, and I'll see you back here again really soon. Bye.